Good afternoon people, YouTubers, subscribers and anyone that happened to follow me or stumble across my little YouTube channel. So today is Saturday the 13th of January already um, and I'm going to give you the weather report from Northamptonshire where I live. Um, it's nice and bright, there's not a cloud in the sky which means tonight will be freezing cold. Uh, it's 6 degrees, the sun's out uh, and it, well it's going to ask for in January. But yes, I've been out, nipped out. Cars all loaded. Today, let's have a look. The clock as well, shall I have a look at the clock? 20 past two. So today being the 13th, right. Today I have Simon's birthday. Simon is, I'm just gonna turn around here again, make it a bit more interesting, isn't it? These pop things, uh, these are all cuttings. They, they love the old uh, brightness here. Anyway, um, one of my hobbies I've taken up uh, a couple of years ago, actually when I sort of stopped doing the disco, I thought, what could I do? So I went for these little plant things, um, palms and stuff. Anyway, I digress. So Simon is special needs. Uh, I was, I've been told he's 56. Uh, he likes Toya. He likes singing. And I've told the person who booked this several times, I do not do karaoke, but yes, I do have a microphone. And he likes 80s. And it's from five to eight, so it's three hours. It's been held at a hall uh, where he lives. He lives in a residential home and there's a hall attached to it. That's where his party's been held. Now I've done special needs before and they tend to be quite fun actually. Um, obviously because of the type of people there, obviously videoing uh, may well be an issue. Um, so that may not happen. Um, because I believe in all probability all other residents will probably come along as well. They may bring their carers, they may bring family family members with them as well. That's what's happened in the past, but I have no idea. So there may not be a lot of dance floor stuff going on. Yeah, so uh, three hours. Uh, he likes 80s music, he likes Toya, uh, and he likes singing. And that's really the brief. And I've been told they think he's 56. So that's today. Uh, it's about... 45 minutes away, it's in a place called Milton Keynes, which is junction, well, either 14 or 13 of the M1. I'm not doing that route. There's two other routes I can go down. In fact, there's three routes I can go down to. Um, I'm not taking the motorway. Um, I'm going to take uh, an A road, then I'm going to take an A5, one junction. So, yeah, so it's about 45 minutes away. It's got to be the mainly standard kit. I've got to take my DMX, DMX go out again. Um, there won't be the moving heads. As I've been taken out all of Christmas, there won't be the corner shelf units either. Um, so yeah, that's really it. So we'll see what happens um, on this particular gig. In fact, it's the last one for some time, I believe now. Um, I don't advertise anymore, so it's about word of mouth really. So yeah, so that's it. That's my plan and my booking for today. And hopefully I'll see you all on the other side. So tonight, very quickly, is that per usual, it's my FTBs, my Helix, combi stand, my scrims, some mats are down to help cabling, Leveno laptop, my hard drive, I've got to, uh, my DMX go, it keeps flashing, it's not a solid light but it's so close, I've um, got wireless mics out tonight, let's have a look, got my mats down as you can see, because I have no idea about people coming close. My main man, Matt, fatigue one. So yeah, I've got the um, the audio cordless mic tonight. Tablet, phone. I've got to sort this out right now. Uh, so yeah, so we've got cake and we've got food and we've got. Right. I'm alright, I'm a bit warm actually. Hey. I'm a bit warm. Ooh. I thought it'd be I thought it'd be a bit cold in here, but it's a bit warm. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. So yesterday, last night, I was given two pieces of cake. And I said no, I'll take it home and eat it. So one piece, which is gone, I ate last night when I got home. This piece is waiting to be eaten. <laughs> well, that was a quick 30 seconds, wasn't it? Obviously, I couldn't take any dance action because it was um, 
uh, adults with learning difficulties. And uh, once I've taken the video off the equipment, I was going to show you the uh, around, but they started uh, to come in. And it's a residential uh, place, so um, people actually live there. Uh, it's run by a charity, and um, they had a function hall. Well, they have a hall that they use for different things, which is attached to the um, accommodation. So, uh, hence, I couldn't do um, uh, do any sort of dance floor action or anything. As I said, as soon as I panned around to do the equipment, a couple of people walked into the room, as you probably heard me talking to them, and so I had to stop. So I met Simon, the birthday uh, boy, and man, and the first thing he did, he gave me a sheet of A4, double-sided, of songs. Obviously, I was told he didn't write it. Um, fortunately for me, there was no issues, because it was all 80s stuff anyway. There's one or two strange 80s stuff, but it's all 80s. And uh, Simon is, is his name, but he actually calls himself Toya. And he, uh, I'm not sure what the right word is, but he um, uh, considers himself as Toya Wilcox. People outside the UK, Toya Wilcox uh, was uh, an 80s, well, I say was, she still is about actually, but mainly known for her uh, stuff during the 80s. Um, so he sort of aligns himself as Toya Wilcox. All the birthday cards that I saw were to Toya. I was told that he does like Toya and he likes to sing. So that's why I bought my uh, cordless mics with me, my W Audio cordless lights. He's very good with the mics. Um, when I put on a Toya song, I only put on about, I think, six, the whole evening, five maybe. Um, I handed in the mic. He didn't scream. He didn't shout, which is what normally people do. And as soon as he finished, he turned around and gave me the microphone. Uh, I can't really say fairer than that. <coughs> Excuse me, I still can't shake this off. So um, there was about um, 15 or 16 people with um, about half a dozen uh, care assistants, if that's what they're called, um, in, the, in the venue. Uh, in fact, by 7.30, people were leaving. Now, I was contracted to 8, but 7.30, they were packing up tables. People were leaving anyway, so... 20 to 8 is all done and dusted, so it was a bit of an earlier night than normal anyway. Uh, and uh, I was asked by uh, Simon, aka Toya, will I come back next year to do his party? And when I left his key worker or carer, um, who I've been dealing with most of the time, all the time actually, said, is it too early to book next year? And I said, yes, <laughs> too early, who knows what I'm doing in 12 months time. So that's that really. Not a lot, and that's the reason why. So, I've got to thank Colin from Colin Mobile's Disco for getting back to me with the question I had about DMXing. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, so thanks him for that. So, that's it uh, for this, this, this time. I don't have anything on my books now for a bit. I don't advertise anymore. The bookings I've had since uh, I sort of came back uh, have all been people that know me or known of me. Um, so, I've got nothing on my calendar currently. So yeah, uh, my DMX is all about my DMX Go. Whoever the users, my DMX Go users, if they got any input on that. I did take it out with me um, yesterday. The green light is not solid all the time; it flashes, but the but the tablet is right next to it. Uh, I kept it on one show and I changed it on another show. Uh, the lights were on. The house lights, if I can use the expression, were on more than they were off. So, uh, but. Anyway, I won't go into that. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you on the other side.